In this video, I want to compare and contrast the Shun Classic to the Wushtoff Classic pairing knives. These are very similar knives, but also very different. They're both handmade, they are both fully forged, and they both have similar cutting angles. The Shun is 16 degrees, the Wushtoff is a slightly sharper 14 degrees. But that's sort of where the similarities end. The Shun uses a core technology, a cutting core technology, which means it has VG Max steel in the center of the blade, very hard, very durable, holds an edge very well, about 61 hardness, and it's wrapped on either side with a softer stainless steel, which gives it the gorgeous Damascus pattern and also protects the blade from damage. The Wushtoff is made with their own proprietary blend of steel, and it's not wrapped in anything. The thing is that the steel they use is about a 58 hardness, so what that means is the blade is gonna dull much, much faster but it's also going to be able to withstand much more abuse. So if you're the type of person that throws your knife into the sink, the Wushtoff is going to be a much more forgiving knife. The one thing that I want to mention is the Wushtoff is a very traditional knife. It has a full bolster that goes all the way down to the tip of the blade. So this portion right here is actually not sharp, and it has a tendency to get in the way as you're actually using the knife. The Shun is sharp from the back all the way to the tip, and that's something that I really like about it. Both knives have full tangs. Again, the Wushtoff is very traditional in its handle shape. It is going to be comfortable, but not really crazy comfortable. While the Shun is a traditional Japanese handle shape, D-shaped handle, and I think that it fits really nicely in the hand. The Wushtoff's handle is made of plastic, and the Shun's is made of Paca wood, which is a compressed resin-filled wood. So they're both going to stand up to water damage and things like that very well. They both have lifetime warranties, but the Shun also comes with lifetime sharpening for free, which I think is invaluable, especially if you don't want to have to pay money to sharpen the knife and you don't want to have to sharpen it yourself at home. It comes down to personal preference, though. I'll put a link down to both below. If you have any questions, any comments, or any concerns, as always, let me know. And otherwise, I will talk to you very, very soon.